In this video, I'm going to be reviewing adding four-digit numbers using column addition and estimating to check. Okay, and we just need to remember that the word estimate means that it's a careful guess. It's not just any random guess. It needs to be a useful guess. And we'll be using rounding to estimate the correct answers. Okay, so uh, let's get started. Number one. Let's suppose I have this four-digit number, 2,693, and I want to add it to this four-digit number, 4,192. Okay, now we remember that this is the units, tens, hundreds, thousands. Okay, so all we really need to do is uh, add these up vertically, and we'll do that in a second. But first, before we work out what our actual answer is, we need to actually work out the, uh, an estimate. Okay, so we can work out an estimate by doing this. Arrow. We first of all need to estimate and uh, decide how we're going to estimate, okay, are we going to round it to the nearest set of 10, are we going to round to the nearest set of 100, or are we going to round to the nearest set of 1,000, okay, if we estimate to the nearest set of 10 here, all right, then our estimate is going to be very close to the actual answer, okay, so I'll write very close. If we estimate to the nearest set of 100, our estimate will be close, but it won't be exact. It won't be as close as if we used rounding to the nearest set of 10. So we're fairly close. And of course, if we rounded to the nearest set of 1,000, well, uh, our estimate would, would not be very close. So usually, if you're told to estimate, uh, if you aren't told uh, what to round it to, you need to ask, do I round it to the nearest set of 10, to the nearest set of 100, or to the nearest set of 1,000? Okay? Usually, you will be asked to round either to the nearest set of 100 or the nearest set of 10. But again, it depends on the question. Okay? So before we can start working this out, we need to get an estimate so that we can determine whether or not the answer we get is correct or wildly wrong. Okay, so let's uh, continue over here. Uh, let's uh, round uh, these two numbers here to the nearest hundred and work out our estimate. So if I take 2,693 and round it to the nearest set of 100, I'm going to get 2,700. Remember, if you're rounding to the nearest set of 100, the answer, the number you get should end in two zeros. If you round to the nearest set of 1,000, the number you get should end in, the last three digits should be zeros. Okay, so we're rounding to the nearest 100, so we have two zeros. Okay, so we're, we've got uh, 4,192, which we need to round down. So 4,192 rounded to the nearest hundred would be 4,200. Okay, and now we can add these two. Zero plus zero is zero. 700 plus 200 is 900. And 2,000 plus 4,000 is 6,000. So our estimate is 6,900. So our answer, when we work it out here, should be close to 6,900. All right. And because we rounded up, this 2,693 became 2,700. 
and 4192 became 4200 because we rounded up okay then our answer here should be smaller than 6900 okay so let's see if we're right okay so 3 plus 2 is 5 okay. 90 plus 90 is 180 Okay, the 100 over to the 100's column. Okay, 600 plus 100 is 700 plus another 100 is 800. Okay, and 2,000 plus 4,000 is 6,000. Okay, so you can see that our answer here, 6,885, is very close to what we estimated it should be. So if this was a test, I would be able to say fairly confidently, that I think that my work is right and I'm pretty close in, to my estimate so uh, I think I'm, I've got the right answer and if you look we're only 15 15 away from our estimate so that's a pretty that's pretty close okay so um, let's try another one okay well, let's try uh, one where we have a four-digit number added to a three-digit number okay so let's suppose we have 2516 added to 297 okay again hundreds tens unit sorry units tens hundreds and thousands Okay, so we're going to estimate, okay, and we're going to round to the nearest hundred, okay, so that means that this one becomes 2,500, because 2,500 is closer than 2,600, and rounding to the nearest hundred here is going to make that 300. Okay, we add... Okay, 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, 500 plus 300 is 800, and 2,000 plus nothing is 2,000. So that's our estimate. Let's see if we're right. Okay, 6 plus 7 is 13. Carry the 1 to the 10s. Okay, 90 plus 10 is 100, plus another 10 is 110. Carry the 100. 500 plus 200 is 700 plus 100 is 800 okay and two so our answer is 2813 our estimate was 2800 i'm pretty confident that is the correct answer okay so you need to make sure that you remember what the steps are okay the first step is estimate Okay, second step, calculate. Third step, check. Okay. Okay, this video has run kind of long, so I'll stop it there. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck.